My name is Tanisha Jones, and I am the Public Arts Coordinator for the City of Chambly. My position was created less than a year ago through the Arts Master Plan, which came out, I believe, in 2019. The Public Arts Commission, which we also call the PAC, um, have done things like arts festivals, arts installations. We've had a lot of artists come in and do things like murals. Um, and we just recently wrapped up a uh, set of 11 utility boxes, which we had murals painted on by a ton of different artists artists um, from the Atlanta area. I'm the Parks and Recreation Director for the City of Chambly. Our department oversees not just the Parks and Recreation side, we also oversee arts in the City of Chambly as well. In my experience, I've only known it to be in the parks, under Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs typically. It's exciting that we have this under our umbrella right now. In many small cities, public art falls under Parks and Rec because public art is often found in the parks. In Chambly specifically, we often have our arts-related festivals and events in our parks. When I hear the word well-being, I think of taking care of yourself physically and mentally, eating well, getting enough sleep, being active and social, and doing what you need to do to be in a good mental state of mind. Public art contributes to well-being in a lot of ways. Some of those ways can be seen in placemaking and placekeeping, where you're creating a sense of community, you're creating communication, conversation, um, you know, and, and a sense of place. A sense of place is is huge for your well-being, feeling like you belong, um, and like you are part of a community is is huge. This was, you know my first go at working with GMA. and One of the takeaways I got was learning from other cities, opened my, our minds to what we could do in the future by bringing in other departments outside of the city, other private businesses or nonprofits to participate in programs such as this initiative. Um, you get a different perspective. <laughs>